Do you want to have a shorter wallet address, such as solanaschool.sol or school.sol, or maybe school.bonk or school.moon? I'll show you in this quick tutorial. My name's Seb Monty, my goal is to take you from zero to hero. So let's dive in, and let's grab these domain names. We'll start at Bonfitter on Twitter and click on sns.id. Now let's connect our wallet. Connect wallet, phantom, and connect. Now first, why would we use this? Well, if we go into our wallet, then we can copy our address and as an example, click on send, USD coins fine, paste in the address. We can see it's long and impossible to remember, hence why we only copy and paste. But what if we wanted something shorter? Well, we can just have a look here. So as an example, and this one will definitely be taken, but something like school.sol or sebmonti.sol also taken. We touched on this on the Web3 identity course. Maybe you're using your real name or maybe an anonymous name. Maybe you have a name like Firetruck and you could get firetruck.sol. Maybe you're creating a company like Bob's Flowers. You could have that as a domain name. I'm just gonna go for Solana School. It's available, so let's click search. It's 20 USDC and we can just add to cart, continue to cart, and we can just check out and buy this. However, we can also change the storage. Edit, increase the storage, it's a little bit of extra soul, so I just max it out and I pay it. If you want more information, just click on this link and then just scroll on down. Domain storage size. One kilobyte is enough if you're just using it for transactions. So, but maybe in the future, you want to have your own IPFS hosted website. IPFS means interplanetary file system. By default, when I get a domain name, I just pay for 10 kilobytes of storage. So I'll click update size and check out. Now we can just pay in USDC or we can change this to feeder and it'll be a small discount. A discount is definitely worthwhile. So let's see if we can just change a little bit of USDC into some feeder. We'll go to the swap tab, swap this in the middle and change this to bond feeder's own token, feeder. We need 127, $19. Okay, so doing it this way, we're gonna save 50 cents. We'll do it anyway. Close, we've got some bond feeder token here and we're good to go. Check out, we're not gonna bridge the domain. We'll skip this, it's gonna stay on Solana and let's click complete purchase. For some reason, we need more feeder. This is a little bit confusing, we'll see what happens. But we'll grab a little bit more feeder. This should cover it. Refresh of the page, go through it all again, click on complete. And there's some UI glitch because it's only needing 126 feeder, but it's asking for 133. We'll do it anyway, but I guess normally I'm just going to recommend using USDC. That was too difficult. We've bought that domain name. This is only good for the Solana network, of course. In the real world, as a company or even as an individual, I do suggest having your own Web2 domain name and in particular .link. So I have, as an example, sebmonty.link. We've now got our domain name. There are some good quick links down here. Maybe you need to see these in the future. We can also go to browse and we can have a look at categories or even listed. If we go to listed, we can see some that are for sale or some that are for auction. This is not financial advice, but I don't think speculating on domain names such as .sol addresses is a good idea. But having one for yourself could make it a lot easier. Now, if we go to phantom and we copy our address, we can go to soulscan.io and just paste in the address and then search. And then we can go to the right and click on domains. And this is where we should see the domain names once it's updated in the system. There seems to be a delay with Soulscan, so we'll use the Solana Explorer. Paste in the address, click on domains, and we can see it here, solanaschool.sol. Then we can go up to our wallet and we can send some crypto into this wallet here. We have $130.52 worth of Solana. Let's go into DeFi, click on Solana, send. We can either just copy and paste or we can type it in. So I could copy and then paste it or because it's quite a simple thing, as long as I'm double checking, of course, I could just type in solanaschool.sol and I can send 0.5 sol, send, it's been sent. Let's go to our top wallet. And we now have $140.93.
Now what about all domains? Let's check out theirs. Alldomains.id And these are the five that we can choose from. My suggestion is .moon. Let's just go sebmonti.moon. Search for this and it's available. Now the difference with all domains is you have to register them continually up to a maximum of 10 years. So they can be more expensive overall. However, I do prefer this system because you don't want someone just to buy it and then have it forever. That's completely just domain squatting. So let's grab sebmonti.moon, we'll select our wallet, phantom, connect, and we'll just buy for one year and confirm. And then we can go to our dashboard and this will load our domains. Now let's go ahead, we'll go to our phantom wallet. We have $257 in this tutorial account of USDC. Let's go to our NFT wallet and we can see I have 10 USDC here. Click on it, send, and let's just type in sebmonti.moon. Then we'll click on max, next, and send. It's sending, it's been sent. We can click view transaction. This will confirm in a second, but we can also go into our phantom wallet, have a look at the recent transactions, and we can see it did in fact send. And it sent it to the correct account, and we can see we've got our extra $10. However, if we go into the transactions panel here, for some reason it's not showing it being received, but it's definitely received and we can see this on the blockchain. We can see a transfer from this wallet to this wallet. In two videos, I have a full tutorial on navigating SoulScan, but in the next video, we'll be covering Magic Eden. Catch you in that video, stay curious, see you then.